Christmas and as you can see here my Christmas had come in Mitsubishi Outlander yeah so after the festival and we are waiting for the new year so the festival season is still up so what's in this video fine in this video I want to show you how to redirect your telnet or how to configure your machine as a telnet proxy let me share you the idea this is what I'm trying to do I will be acting one machine will be acting as a telnet client when the client will be hitting one machine which is uh, which has the IP of 172.24.0.253 means when I issue from here when I issue the command telnet 172.24.0.253 actually what happened that this that I will be allowed telnet on this machine if the telnet is available but what I am going to, to configure is that whenever somebody telnets on a specific IP in my case it is 172.24.0.253 this machine is configured as a telnet proxy what this will do this will merely redirect the telnet request to some other IP in my case the other IP is 172.24.0.250 so the clients will never came to know that on which server they are actually hitting as talent I hope you get the point when I will hit or I will use the talent command to hit on this IP 253 253 is configured as the talent proxy and it will be redirecting me to 172.24.0.250 which is the actual talent server so first I will show you without the proxy configuration and then I will show you with the talent proxy configuration see here uh, here I am again here I am acting as a client I have got this virtual machine I hope you all remember this virtual machine the IP address of the virtual machine is the same 172.24.0.253 and I will show you to make things easier I'll, if, if I show you the issue.net command the issue.net has got the label or uh, the, uh, the banner of this you are accessing a secure talent server blah 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 that's great and the telnet is already being started here etc I'll just restart the service restart and if I give check config hyphen hyphen list you can see there that the telnet is on wow that's great so this is 253 now I go to my laptop or it is uh, a client machine configured as a client if I issue here the command telnet 172.24.0.253 it is actually giving me or hitting me on that particular machine which is recognizable by the banner I can give the logon name and the password and wow that is not an issue we all know it but now I want to configure the 253 as the proxy so means whenever I give to uh, hit the 253 it will actually redirecting me to a different machine which IP is 250 and here it is the IP is coming up here and I can show you the etc issue.net command so it has got a different banner so means the I will be hitting on 253 but 253 this is the 253 but 253 will be acting as a telnet proxy though it it will be taking me to 250 that's great and if we can recognize uh, the machine by the banner if you re you remember that uh, 253 has got a specific banner etc issue.net so this is the 253 machine with this banner and the machine with the rel banner is actually the 250 so what has to be done it's very simple a very simple configuration that need to do just open up your telnet file of just here just write two lines bind and your interface because the request will be coming onto your interface and then use a very simple parameter redirect redirect to us different IP address and the port number job is done that's it you just need to write two lines here bind and your machine IP address and redirect it to the actual telnet server so whenever I hit on 253 which is 
this machine this machine will be acting as the proxy and will be taking my request to 2250 at the port number 23 which is obviously the default port I just save and come out I just restart the Zionet service that's great so if here I am again I am acting I am hitting on the same IP I don't know that uh, behind the picture the talent proxy has been configured 253 is configured as the talent proxy look here I am hitting on 253 but it is taking me on the rel machine so I give alloc here I give the requested password and now I am actually on I will show you I will give the root password here I am actually on 250 that's great whereas I had hit on 253 so whenever I hit on 253 253 is actually taking me to 250 and I can configure it by the like going on to the root and then giving the if config command wow that's great beautiful so it's a very good way to end the new year or end the year so we welcome 2011 with some very good tips and tricks so I hope the concept is clear to you this whole idea and once again 